So hi friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video. So in this video, I will talk about J mains 2021 phase 3 that is the July 20 shift 1 exam is over now. So here I am with the analysis of the paper that is subject wise difficulty label. I will talk here and expected marks versus percentile that you can expect based on the expected marks that you have scored in the shift 1 if you have appeared. And I will also talk about the topic with more questions and the topic from which more than one question have appeared. I will also talk about the easy topic that you should look if your shift is next. So if you are first to my channel, please try to subscribe this so that you will get all the update regarding JE mains and other counseling other entrance exam also in this channel. So let's start the video. So here is the July 20 shift 1 analysis. Similarly, I will do all shift analysis. So stay tuned with this channel. I will, I will provide you all the information. So if you talk about the math subject, it was difficult as expected and lengthy also. And the syllabus was in uniformly distrib distributed. That means on an average, one question was there from every topic. Topic. but if you talk about the uh, the topic which have more question then uh, it was uh, integral calculus and the probability but if you are looking for the easy topic then you, then you can look for the probability matrices determinant vector and 3d these topics are also contain more than one question and easy question so if you're if your shift is next oh, try to try to cover that topic and, and try to revise that topic if you have already covered so now if you talk about the uh, number of questions from each section that is uh, number of uh, easy question we are 8 moderate 9 and tough question 13 so overall, overall paper of the math is difficult you can consider or moderate to difficult so the next is physics was moderate to hard and it was also uniformly distributed that means every chapter have at least one uh, one questions so you can you can focus on any topic in which you have interest so that the question will came from that topic for sure so number of easy question we are 10 num and moderate question we are 12 and 8 was the top question so if you are looking for the easy question then you can you can uh, study the modern physics and the current electricity uh, and alternating currents and the last two chapter of the class 12 syllabus that is the that is the semiconductor and uh, communication system so these topics will give you the easy question uh, the more number of question we are from thermodynamics current electricity and alternating current in this uh, shift to one so the overall difficulty of the of the physics paper was moderate to hard you can say so the next is chemistry was easiest as expected uh, and it was more theory based and it was not uniformly distributed because more questions from, uh, we are from uh, organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry particularly the number of questions we are more from s block and p block and if you are targeting the easy chapter then i would i would advise you go for the last two chapter of the chemistry of uh, 11 and 12 and also the S block and P block because the, uh, those uh, chapter will not take so much time and you can uh, study from the NCRT book itself. There was 12 easy question, uh, 12 moderate question and 6 tough question from the chemistry subject. So overall paper difficulty was moderate to tough and you can compare it with the 16 shift 1 of March shift. Uh, that is uh, that was also moderate paper. So you can expect there will be similarity of marks versus percentile but you you have to score more marks as there uh, there's there was so much gap between the march and uh, this july attempt so student have more preparation than the march attempt so now if you talk about the marks versus percentile versus category rank so here i will provide you the marks versus rank and cutoff category wise but for percentile versus category rank that is for, uh, for a particular percentile that you are expecting now what will be your expected uh, category rank that is sc rank st rank obc and uh, ews rank so you can check my other video that you will get in the i button as well as in the description box now if you talk about the expected cutoff marks and percentile uh, to qualify for the JE advanced exam so you can check here all the things is listed you can take the screenshot of this because the video will be so long if I discuss everything so uh, you can check the for general 91 to 92 percentile and marks uh, range will be 112 to 118 so you are scoring around 110 marks then okay, also uh, you can, can be sure that you are safe for JE advanced because the paper was a little bit difficult next is marks versus percentile expected this is only for this shift for next shift i will provide you the separate video so stay tuned for that here you can uh, look uh, over the over the percentile versus marks data that is 99.9 to 100 percentile will be from 250 to 265 because the paper was a little bit difficult so you can check other other data here and uh, by by pausing this video 
and here is some more marks versus percentile uh, there will be a more competition for lower percentile because many many unique student we are added in this uh, attempt of j exam because of the cancellation of the board examination so you can expect there will be more difficulty for the lower percentile student than the higher percentile because it is not easy to score 200 plus marks in one or two months because uh, the student who have who are appearing in the j uh, j means examination due to board exam cancellation they don't have so much time so you can expect if you're if you're targeting 200 plus then uh, you don't have to worry about these things for lower percentile there will be more competition so this is all about the analysis of the uh, july 20 shift one paper so similarly i will do the analysis of the second paper also and uh, and uh, stay tuned for all the update uh, very soon i will provide you all the cutoff video and how much marks you should score in order to be safe for the nit top nit triple it gfti so thanks for watching this video please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update in future also and try to share this channel with your friends so that they can also get this information thanks